guys, it's me, Sonic, and the Mii Sport Mario, and Mii Fire Mario. And today we're going to react to both of the Sonic Movie Elite designs. Excuse me for a moment. You gotta, you gotta everything ready? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go. So, there have been two designs that have been, um, tossed around over the internet, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at both of them. This first one here. These ads come up like 20, like 24-7, man. Okay, excuse me for one moment. Why would you do that? I was thinking of fishes. Yeah, I was watching these videos. I'm just kidding, it's not vicious. Thanks to Velasky Bone 94. So what do you get when you Thanks. take one of the most iconic video game characters of all time and then turn him into this thing? Oh, that's disgusting. So you get the I know. Iron Man in your throat, ready to fight unless something changes. In a shocking turn of events, the Sonic movie director reveals that he and his team were listening to all the negative criticism and they were actually going mm. back to change the Hedgehog's design. Stuff like this barely happens, but I guess it makes sense because, come on, this really didn't feel like... It's too bad they didn't have a banjo between us and both. Yeah, we could have got a great design. Since then, there hasn't been a lot of information about the current redesign process. However, Ben Schwartz, who's voicing Sonic, replied to a fan on Twitter with the gif that the new design was good. What that tells us, they said it's it probably good? been figured out by this point, which makes a leak that just happened. It's October! So here it's October! We are. This is supposed to be no, man, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I mean, I know they've worked a long time on that. Hold on, let me pause. That is, that's like really, they really got, they really got that on the on the chalk. They really got on the drawing board. I mean, they could make a better design than that. I mean, there's better options. Yeah, I know. And honestly, we just have to wait for an official answer whenever they decide to reveal Sonic's design 100%. Uh, As a Smash Bros. fan, uh, I know that people can make some insanely well-done leaks, so I'm going to take this with a grain of salt until actual Yeah, Smash leaks! But okay, just for fun, let's assume we're dealing with a real leak here, and this is how Sonic's going to look in the movie next year. Dang, it's an incredible upgrade. You'll notice no. that he's adapting much more the to the video one. game design you all know. His legs have gotten a lot shorter, which feels more right it's a classic Sonic, so that's pretty cool. His eyes may not be directly similar to the games, but it doesn't look too bad. The arms are still blue, unlike how they normally are, though once again, that's only a minor complaint. Taking a look at the overall redesign, it definitely feels like Sonic. At least way more than whatever they were thinking with this. Yeah, I don't know what they saw when they came to that. That's going to make him look even better in motion. Another leaked redesign picture is right here, where he's running and having a grand old time. Oh not much God. to say about this one that I I didn't mention already, but look at those little feet, he's such a small guy now. He's a cute hedgehog friend. Even if Sonic dashes into theaters and gets absolutely horrible reviews, which is a very possible scenario given the normal fate of video game movies, we can still look back on this and appreciate that the team tried. They wanted to make Sonic look as faithful as he possibly could, while at the same time adding a few of their own changes to make it unique. I think it's admirable that they decided to delay the movie and change Sonic entirely to the same Those were so bad! I know! At least these are much better, but I think they can make fun of it Maybe and better. don't forget about memes meow but what are your oh, thoughts really on the sure not that. would you say he's a step in the right direction compared to the previous one it's a step in the right direction for sure <laughs> yeah it was also another elite sonic movie design and i didn't want to make two videos because that looked weird Thankfully, he made another video for just for us. I'm just kidding, it's not just for us. He's, he's a pretty good YouTuber. Yeah, he's, he makes awesome videos, I think so. 
Ever since it was announced that Sonic would be getting a complete redesign for his movie, people have been wondering just how much would be changed about the iconic hedgehog. While there hasn't been any official news by the crew behind the movie, several leaks have floated around showing what Sonic was changed to. I already talked about these two images in a previous video, yeah. but we're back at it again with yet another leak, so let's see this real quick. Already, huh? As always, this started spreading around like wildfire through Twitter. And here we are! What Sonic may actually look like in the movie coming out next year. At first glance, without looking at anything else, this seems pretty legit. It's from a stand-in promotion that I guess hasn't been publicly revealed in theaters yet. And keep in mind, something like this is how the original they're, design they're got. Not do After this, seeing right? those legs, people thought Sonic couldn't look like that, but uh, they ended up being very wrong. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Now, if you've been paying close attention, you'd realize I know, that right? this that is a disgusting well design. With all the previous images floating around on Twitter. There are a few small differences in terms of lighting, but this pose looks identical to this one. What's also worth mentioning is that in the promotion, we can see Sonic's full shoe, while in the previous leak, it was completely absent. Lucky for us, that gives a little more authenticity to the design than before. Also, it seems like they took away his Nike shoes and replaced them with shoes Sonic would actually wear, which I think is incredible. If, of course, yeah, this is legit. Yeah, Nike shoes no for Sonic, man? Why would they do that? It's that all pictures of Sonic's new design means that a trailer for the movie seems to be close, probably within the next few weeks. Considering it's coming to theaters in February, the marketing team is about to go all in, and that's when we can find out 100% if this really is a new Sonic. Considering how the first Sonic design was revealed in a similar way, yeah, I would place my bet that this is more real than fake, but we're just gonna I have to wait. I never see that Sonic design ever again that spawned from the initial movie trailer. This is getting a ton of promotion, and the team knows that things could go pretty bad if the redesign doesn't look like Sonic either. If you ask me, I think they're gonna do a good job. But do you guys yeah, think sure this they is do. real or fake? Let's talk in the comments. It looks pretty convincing. Well, anyway, I mean, when it comes to Smash Leaks, you always take those with a grain of salt. I'm gonna guess that this might be fake and that we might get an even better design. Yeah, that we, we'll get a good design. Like, why did they even screw it up in the first place? Like, I'm not expecting them to be perfect or anything, but I don't know how that got past the drawing board. I don't know how everyone was like, yep, yep. Everyone will love this. Like, I'm sorry, Sonic Movie Team, or what? I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but no, technically, no. It's, that wasn't good. And there's still improvements that could be made. I think the leak that was like from four days ago, um, they could improve it on that. That's that's their next point. Anyways, guys, bye.